Sports. Welcome back to the Watch It with McQueen channel. Man, yes, sir, we are back. I hope you guys are having an excellent day today. Okay. We have a very crazy video here today, man. Joe Budden. Pump, 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 be there. Has anyone genuinely heard any other music besides that song from Joe Budden? That's a genuine question. I'm not trying to roast. I'm not trying to be. Has anybody ever heard any other song? Did you ever even go through a portion of your life without even knowing that that was a Joe Budden song? Because as far as I was concerned, that song was really put in and, and installed in my mind when I saw when I saw uh, what's the movie uh, the movie with Omarion? It's the dance movie. That's the song, the pump it up song. That that's what I think of every single time I think about that song. And all the way up until that point, I had no idea that was a Joe Budden song. So if anybody can tell me. <laughs> Let's just start that off right here, okay? Because apparently in this video, he was sitting here talking crazy about Daryl, saying that, you know, he's a nobody and nobody knows who he is and, and just talking all types of extra out crazy, talking out the side of his neck. So without further ado, let's go ahead and see what he had to say. This is a $30,000 watch on my wrist right now. And I'm going to keep showing it to you every single day because I spent a lot of money on it. So you can either allow me to keep showing it to you every single day and put it in your face, or you can allow me to teach you how to do the same exact thing. You could be also making thousands of dollars and have financial freedom every single month off of social media if you had somebody giving you the right instructions and the right game. For the price of an Uber Eats order, I can do that. And I can give you one-on-one -on -one coaching and give you everything you need to know so you guys can do the same thing and get your own bus down rollers and make so much money that you can invest in whatever you want and live the life that you want. Click the first link in the description. The price is about to go up soon because I'm giving way too much valuable game that I shouldn't be giving you for this low of a price. So click the first link in the description and join my community and I'll give you the best experience ever. Let's get some money. Click the first link in the description. The Ush man strikes again. My question to my distinguished <laughs> Ush man, my question to my distinguished panel is a question I've been asking myself for quite some time. Who the f is DDG? <laughs> and, and why am I supposed to care about his thoughts on anything? Oh, uh, he's a rapper? Yeah. I, I, I know. One thing I can't stand, bro, is when Negroes act like they don't know who you are. Like, bro, you know who I am. Like, you know who I am. You know what I do. Don't sit there and be like, oh, who is this? What does he do? You know who I am. And you know what I do. Okay? It's Negroes from the city. It's entertainers from the city to be acting like they don't know who the hell I am. Then I walk into certain rooms. And there be certain people that's giving me my credit, right? Like, oh yeah, McQueen will do this, 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 yeah, man. Hey man, I love you. So what the it be it be dudes that they be in the same industry as me and they're from the same city as me, but they ain't never said nothing to me, never reached out to me, never, never, never DM me, never nothing, okay? But when I get into a certain room, now all of a sudden this guy is giving me my praise that you know, and now all of a sudden it is Oh, 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 wait, I think I do know you, bro. I've seen your stuff before. Shut up, man. You ain't just had no damn epiphany. Mark, you know exactly who the hell I am, bro. I can't stand when dudes do this, man. You know exactly who I am. That's why you talking about me right now. Okay? No, because I know of him, excuse me. Um, when I went to the Gunner show, he opened, and I said the same thing. Who the f*** is this? But apparently the whole crowd knew who the f*** that was and okay, sang the songs. So, 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 okay, all right. So what did you say? And what you said, they said what? Is this? But apparently the whole crowd knew who the f that was and sang the songs word for word. Oh, they said the song word for word, right? But you ain't know who he, uh, he who he was, and y'all trying to act like he ain't nobody. But he had the whole entire crowd, and he was opening up for Gunner, which is an which is a a, a a big rapper. All right, he had his crowd singing his songs word for word. Oh, just off of that alone, like how can you even have the leverage to to sit there and try and and, and, and discredit his work? How? Anyways, man, it's just, it's so funny. These old, these old goofball, unk, just, like, it, it was a, I think, man, just washed up goofball. They just always got something to say, man. So, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, nah, they, they knew. What was the demographic in, at that concert? Were you the oldest one? Yeah, yeah. I, not <laughs> shooting. I'm not yeah. shooting. Cause yeah. you oh, no, we shooting. Because <laughs> that's exactly what it is. His little old Tommy ass don't even know. He don't even know, man. You probably don't have, you probably have never even heard a gunner song. You probably never even heard a gunner. You can't even name a gunner song. You know why? Cause y'all ass is old. 
That's the only reason why y'all are hating, bro. Stop it with all this goofball stuff, man. And you is shooting, okay? Said the whole. I might square up. I no, promise I'm not shooting. Shooting, shooting like, would just... be, did you dye your beard to go? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> no, I could square up. But she didn't say that. So <laughs> she's not shooting, not technically. Shooting. Nah, nah, it was, um, it was a lot of white folk. Really? Really? Yeah, yeah. Every concert. That's true. Look at okay. you rapping. Out of here. <laughs> 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 nah, it was, it was a lot, but um, mostly women. Really? White yeah. women? White women white, singing white women. DDG? A lot of white women. I didn't. Hey, that's a flex. I don't... <laughs> that's a flex. It's great to have the whites on your side, bro. I was in the club the other night campaigning with the homies, you know what I'm saying? Network and whatnot. Man, it was like three or four white boys that watched me. Queen, I love your videos. With the, with the, you know how good that feels to me, man? Because my, I, I'm not going to say idol because I've been learning to not use the word idol. You know what I'm saying? We shouldn't idolize men. But the people that I've looked up to, that I've taken a lot of game and put into my bag, one of those people was Dave Chappelle. And because of that, right, I've always wanted and I've always admired when I watched him and I watched his reach and his you know, demographic, it was a lot of white people who understand all the jokes that he was saying, all the racist jokes he was saying, all the, a lot of white people was on poor and on, 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 on board with him. And I always wanted to be able to have that same type of impact. So if I'm walking through the club and I'm seeing that impact in real time, that's a beautiful thing to experience, right? So going back to what, with DDG, man, it's like, it's like y'all trying to talk about it like it's in the context of it's like a bad, that's bad, that's a bad thing. Or that's not a flex. Man, well, you need the whites on your side. You don't want to just only be black based. You don't want to. You are going to be put in a small box, okay? In a small universe. And you're not going to expand, don't going to expand because we as a people don't have the leverage that the whites do, okay? So if you got white people on your side, the sky's the limit, all right? So I don't know why, man, it's these people, man. They just it's talking out. They just want to talk about it. It's so funny, bro. See that. And I mean, it, you did. it might mean what? something else. I would, it would tell me. Oh, now I'm good. What the? Say it with your chest. Okay. But yeah, it, it, when it was younger. You know the name of any of the songs? N nothing. Were they Absolutely. catchy? Well, not the okay. songs good. I I don't even remember. Did it look like a favor got him up there? He didn't have any of the the, the screen, the lights. The, the pomp and circumstance. The, the, the stage show. No stage show. Okay. It was just him. Didn't pay for nothing. Nothing to happen on stage. Like a smoke blow or nothing. No smoke. <laughs> no smoke. No pyro. LEDs, no nothing. No, nothing. Dancers. A light. Dancers. A light. Oh, uh, we light. get a light. A live band. No. DJ? His friend from the hood. My, you know, we didn't see him. My oh, man. Shit. Little, little Kit Kat. Nigga. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not even going to diss him. Hold on real quick. He wasn't even announced. Like, okay, the, the lights cut off and the show started and that he just ran like, out. That sounds like a favor. And I was like, Some last minute shit. I literally... Thought the show thought because Gunner didn't have it didn't announce that he had an opener, so I'm like, this is how the show started. And I'm like, I don't know this song. Though. That remind me of when a stray cat got in the house one time. <laughs> I'm like, he didn't announce himself. I was just waking up to get some snacks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what's up, little, what's up, little man? <laughs> yeah, you get in. <laughs> you doing it? Again. Left the door open, looking for a snack too. Fucking oh, like PDG performance. <laughs> But again, they knew it, so. Absolutely. Uh, I think very lowly of a lot of the crowds that attend some arena shows, so that doesn't mean huh? anything. <laughs> I think very lowly of some of the crowds oh. that attend these arena shows. And so them knowing the words don't do nothing for me. I'm very happy that they have broken up, so I don't get to keep seeing this his name attached to this girl's name when I don't know him for nothing as a standalone. And for me, it's important to know people based off their own name and merit and what they have done. I don't even know enough about her. Like, I'm not her demo. Right. I'm not her demo either. So that just says a lot about what you, you don't even know what the hell you're talking about. If you don't know Hallie or you don't know DDG for, and the only reason why you know Hallie is because she's been put in like big movie star roles and whatnot, okay? She's the damn, what, uh, Little Mermaid, all right? At the end of the day, you just said right now that that's still not your demographic. You don't know nothing about her besides the fact that she's been in these big movie roles, right? But at the end of the day, that already discredits the fact that you don't know nothing about DDG and what he does and how he came up and, and, and his own impact on the world. You have no idea about that just because you are old-ass, buster-ass, mark-ass, bitter-ass dude. That's what it is, okay? And it's like, Joe Budden, you have no leg to stand on when you're talking about music, bro. The only thing that people know about you it's three words. Pump it up. That is the only thing <laughs> that people know about your ass.
<laughs> okay? And a lot of people don't even know that it's coming from you. They don't even know that's your song, bro. They just know that when it come on, all you got to say is pump it up. That's it. Okay? That's the only thing they know about your market. All right? So it's just, it just be funny to me. It's like, man, when Joe Budden be talking, obviously there's some logical things that come out of his mouth sometimes, but really just be like, bro, why is you, why does it even bother you to the fact that, oh, I'm happy. I don't even got to see this dude's name no more when it's attached to this woman. I'm just so happy I ain't got to see it. Just, why does that bother you? Why does that bother you? If you're, if you're talking on the level that you feel like you're on, okay? If you feel like you're this person that is on this ex this this extraordinary level and you looking down on the world like this, whatever whatever you think you are, man, people at the top ain't supposed to be hating on people. That's what they always say, and that's why I don't really believe that that whole notion of oh people who are doing better than you aren't hating on you. I don't know, I don't, I don't believe all that. Okay, because I know plenty of dudes that's millionaires and this this whoop 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 that's hating still because they just because they bitter. Okay, and Budden is one of those people. All right, he really is. But every time I see his name, it's attached to hers and it's typically in some type of clout chaser fashion. So that makes me look at him a different way and hopefully I get to look at him a lot less now that they've broken. Well, oh, she's up. extremely high profile. She's high profile. Very so. high profile and very talented. But I'm just, I'm just stuck on, why is it putting that statement out? Well, he's not done putting statements out. Oh. Well, cause he ain't looked down at his dick. <laughs> with penises shouldn't speak that way hey if you got a dick when you pick up your phone you shouldn't say after careful consideration me and my partner have decided to part ways please wish to give us the privacy wallow did the same thing when he broke up with his girl he got up on the internet and he was taking saying the same thing just announcing hey man don't expect me and my world to be to be seen together no more i bet you anything you wouldn't say the same thing to wallow i bet you anything you wouldn't say your old ass wouldn't say anything to your fellow old or you wouldn't be saying that to him Okay? Or you're less of a man because you announced that as famous people, we don't want people to keep being in our comments, constantly being in our ear, trying to ask us about who happened, or what happened to her, what happened to this, why ain't y'all together, when, when we gonna see another video, well, we, we don't want to hear that no more. Okay, And some people might just feel like because of their fan base that follows them and loves them and wants to be a part of their journey, they gotta sit there, and, they don't got to, but they, they feel like out of respect, they want to keep them up to date. They want to keep them up to date. All right? There's nothing wrong with that. But, I mean, I understand. Butter, Butter ain't never had that type of motion. Butter ain't never had nobody care enough about his own life to follow him and see what he's doing and see every single step of his journey. Nobody care about Button like that. Okay? What Kobe say? Or what, what Draymond say about Kobe? They don't, they don't love you like that. Okay? They don't. <laughs> so, of course, you're not going to understand. You've never had a fan base. You've never built a base, a, an army from the bottom to the top. Okay, that's seen every facet of your journey, all right? Every transformation, the way you act, every the, your mindset, the way you, the, you know what I'm saying, the people you dated, okay? The, the trips you went on, the, the adventures you did, the ups, the downs, the failures, you've never had a base that has followed every single step of your journey and your story or, or your storyline. You haven't had that. Like I said, the only thing people know about your market is pump it up. That's it. So of course you're, of course you're better, of course. That we carefully desire. And you can just break up in real life. Well, what would Nigga, his just, dick have said? You gotta cast your. What would you do? What would you do in post, this scenario? Post, post, don't a do it. post a future quote. <laughs> post a future quote. <laughs> or post one of future bitches by my by my dog or my the mirror that everybody knows is mine. Go to a rooftop somewhere. Go to Turks. Go somewhere mm -hmm. with people in a pool. Look like you're having fun, unbothered. Oh this yeah, because that usually works out. That, I mean, that, that I, mean I like out. that route better. Okay. I'm not saying I'm not speaking to its measure of effectiveness, but I like that route better. And if you were confused, he's still going. Okay, well, right what, this second. What's the Wait, next? What? Right this second. He's still going. He says, "I am a grown man. Uh -huh. I can make my own decisions. Uh -huh. We chose to split because of personal reasons. Nah, it's not a skit. I'm not hurt, and I'm not missing out on anything. And her head game is trash as." Uh, Stop yeah. it. You lying. He said that? Wait a minute. He said that? Damn, Daryl, that's how you feel, fool. <laughs> what? That's how you feel? Because of personal reasons. Nah, it's not a skit. I'm not hurt, 
and I'm not missing out on anything. And her head game is trash as fuck. Uh, Stop it. Well. You Stop are, it. It's not, it does as not long say as that. My son good. I'm good. Give me your phone. You lying I, I, your I ass have, off. Have... He ain't say her head game, nothing. No, he didn't say that. So now back to this DDG is a popular rapper and streamer thing, and he's Damn, Daryl, that's how you feel, brother. Why you have to air her ass out like that? <laughs> Damn, man. And this is how you know, man. You you never know what, what goes down behind closed doors, bro. You really, really don't, man. You really absolutely have not. Now I'm not I'm not gonna sit there and I don't know enough information, okay, to know if what he said is justified or not. A lot of people might say, oh, no matter what he did, no matter what happened, it's not justified. Uh, that's debatable, okay? Because a lot of these girls be doing some crazy ass stuff behind closed doors and you know, obviously the the shade room bandits, okay, the goofball fat fat quiches inside the goddamn sh shade room comments. They, it don't matter what happens. You know what I'm saying? They're always gonna sit there and blindly side with the woman, even if the woman literally shot a dude in the head, unwarranted, okay? Because they're just that retarded. So, you know, just because they have, there's a lack of information in the game, they're gonna sit there and side with the woman. But you never really know, man. They never, you never really know what's happening behind closed doors. You never really know. Did this woman do something to him? Did she say certain things? Was she disrespecting him on a certain level? Did she take it too far? Did she to put his hands on him? Did she do something that made him still be like, you know what? I'm finna just tell this information, but you know, I'm also gonna give me my little clap back. I'm gonna, you know, throw, you know what I'm throw this in there too, okay? Head game, terrible. <laughs> <laughs> You never know. But damn, I ain't gonna lie. That's how you feel, brother. <laughs> That's how you feel. <laughs> That's such a random thing to say, you know? That's such a random thing to say about your baby mama and when you're explaining that you guys are just breaking up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey I just want everybody to know that we're breaking up. Okay, and you know, I, I just I just want to let y'all know that I'm happy and I love her and she's the mother of my child. And also, by the way, her head game is terrible. But you know, hey, but you know, you know what? I'm just happy. Don't I don't want anybody to think I'm sad. You know, we're gonna be great co-parents. <laughs> like, why did you throw that in there, brother? Stands on his own. Whatever y'all was saying before that I edited it out. <laughs> go ahead. Go, go ahead. What are you saying? Yeah. Now, now, with this what? new information, what? continue to rep for DDG I'm, and I'm sure. Nobody's repping, but. And then we can get to the Usher part of this. What the fuck, fuck is wrong? Yo, bring men back. I just told you, you gotta look at his dick. <laughs> no, he don't have it. He gotta go find it. He gotta go get that from somebody got his dick. <laughs> Wait, look, See, I, she, I, hold I, on, hold on. Has I, she said a word? A she hasn't said anything. The, the only thing that the blogs noticed in between these two. W widely f just different messages is that they both unfollowed each other. Oh, I don't get that. And it's just like a f frick. And you saying her head game is trash. Niggas is going to go get their own account. Yeah, we'll figure it out. No, they're going to go find out on their own, number one. And number two, if it was that trash, why you snatched that cherry so fast, my boy? <laughs> 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 I mean, if her head was as bad as you say, that cherry didn't levitate long. <laughs> Before you got in action, DDG. First thing, we're going to let him know, too. Hey, you know what I lied. know? You know the DDG I know? That was Jake the Snake's finishing move. It's the DDG, nigga. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't give a f what y'all talking about. <laughs> know the DDG I know? That's when Jake the Snake got real mad. Hey, who's Jake the Snake? Is it, a, is, it, is it a wrestler? I don't know about Jake the Snake, man. Okay, I know about Roddy Piper. I know about The Rock. I know about Mankind. I know about Undertaker, Kane, HBK, okay, Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero. Okay, I know about all them. I know about Randy Orton. I know about Rikishi. I know about uh, Booker T. I know about all them. Cena. Who the hell is who, 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 the Generation X? The Hardy Boys. Who who is who is Jake the Snake? <laughs> That's what he did. You like? <laughs> 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 I don't know about this new DDG that y'all talking about. Oh, shit. That's not really my bag. I just think their homeboy has presented himself to be a clout, a clout chaser for the term of the relationship. How old is he? Huh? How old is he? He's like 26. 26. 27. Something like that. He's in trucks. I thought we were going to come in and talk about how kids be haters sometimes, but... Like the baby? That's the thing. Yeah, no, the kids be breaking relationships up. For sure. Or Usher. I salute you, 
<laughs> is that stay <laughs> through the stay <laughs> through the postpartum. Oh, like oh, that shit. takes a different type. Hello. <laughs> Come on, you hood. Every time I say <laughs> that, take a different type of wherewithal and grit and fucking will. Like you really want, you love this. Bitch. You really like, want this. This gonna work. Hey, postpartum is. I can hear them clipping me up now. It's not for the faint of heart, right? It is not a pleasant thing to be around. And you got this nigga gag 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 goo 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 and <laughs> <laughs> you ain't had a decent sleep in months. Gag, 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 gag. Yeah, it is full. Man, listen, man, at the end of the day, bro, you know, I know this is kind of off topic, but if I ever get a girl pregnant, you know, and we have a baby, woo doo woo, I'm not dealing with no disrespect. I don't care what you're going through. I don't care if you're depressed out your mind. Because I've been depressed out of my mind, and I've never disrespected any girl that I've ever been with, okay? All that, you know, oh, yeah, it's postpartum, you don't understand. I don't give a damn, all right? I'll be empathetic and I'll help you through it as a man. I will, but you're not finna talk to me crazy and blame it on your postpartum depression. You're not. You're, fin you're not finna disrespect me. You're not finna take me off of my pedestal. You're not finna just degrade me. You're not finna do all that, okay? Because guess what? I'll leave your ass right there until you figure out what the who the hell you think you're talking to, all right? And who you remember who you're talking to. And, and then when you figure that out, you can come back if I still even want you, okay? I just want to put that out there because a lot of these dudes, man, they'll sit there, oh, yeah, my girl on her period right now, so I'm just taking disrespect from her. I don't give a damn if you on your goddamn period. Figure it out, okay? Figure it the hell out. You're not finna talk to be crazy just because you, you you got some cramps in your stomach. I don't give a damn about that. If it's really that bad, let me know. Be an adult and be like, listen, baby, I don't want to say nothing disrespectful to you. I'm going through a lot of pain right now, so I'll talk to you later. And I'll leave it alone, all right? But a lot of these dudes be trying to justify disrespect just because of whatever a girl goes through, okay? That's cool. I can be empathetic to that, but you're not finna disrespect me, okay? So, you know, that's just I just want to put that out there, man. Is, they say, is he saying anything else about Daryl, bro? DDG. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you. That's the nigga hit you with that. That was your ass. What? The DDT? Jake hit him with Oh, yeah, no. Jake <laughs> Finish with smooth off. Little Jake the Snake? Yeah. DDG. Good luck, DDG. Yeah. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. I don't even know what that stands for. What does DDG stand for? I know, I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. I keep looking to you because yeah, you're like, nah, all right, you're a hip-hop expert. You're young. You're, 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 you're younger than me. <laughs> so you went to the DDG show. <laughs> and they didn't say what it stood show. for? You, you did. I went to the gunner <laughs> show. Now you went to the DDG show. You want to stub up, too. They made it on top of the... They came back with tax on it. And bought a glizzy. Oh, shit. And bought a Barclays glizzy. It's a merch. Wow. I think about those dudes are stupid. Hey, man. Say what you want about Daryl, bro. But he is more known than you, than you, y'all, buddy. He's got more gold records than you, brother. All right? So, fact, you can say what you want about it. You can have whatever opinion you want about his music, but he has more achievements and more accolades in this game that we call life than you. Call it what you want, brother. I know that stain. Okay? Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. Make sure you guys like and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you guys next video.